Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 934 that says shortest bridge. So guys we will break down this question into smaller question and try to find a solution for this smaller question. And then that's how we will build up the approach as well as we will write the code. So guys stick till the end and watch the complete video. Now here you are given n pros and binary matrix, a grid where 1 represents a land and 0 represents water. Now the island is 4 directional connected a uh, group of ones and it's not connected to any other ones right what is an island it is a four directionally connected group of ones now there are exactly two islands in a grid it is already told that there would be exact two islands in a grid now we need to change some of the zeros that is water to land in order to connect the two islands into one island so we need to connect the two islands by changing for some of the water to land and how many of this water we must flip or zeros we must flip to connect two islands that is our answer so we need to find smallest number right smallest number of such flips so what is the flips here we are talking about so let's understand that with an example so let's say you are you are given this grid now as you know there are two islands so here one island is this and second island is this now in order to connect these islands what you can do is you can either flip this zero to one right if you flip this zero to one then this island is connected right because uh, it has become only one island right so by flipping one of the zeros we can connect both the islands so yeah, our answer is one also guys what you could do is you can also flip this zero at this zero to one and then also by flipping one zero you will get the answer so we will return one so we need to find minimum number of flips okay now let's try to look at the second example so here you are given this as an island one this is an island too. Now what you can do is, let's say you flip this 0 to 1, this 0 to 1, this to 1 and this to 1. So by performing this, what you have done is you have connected all, both the islands, right? Connected both the islands via, via this path. Now how many zeros you have flipped? You have flipped 4 zeros. Can you perform better? Yeah, let's try to think of that. So what, another way what you could do is, you can flip this 0 to 1 and this 0 to 1. If you have flipped both the 0 to 1, then also you would have connected both the islands and number of flips performed here would be only 2. So yeah, that's our answer. That is the best possible or the smallest number of zeros that can be flipped to connect both the islands. Okay. So another way also was to flip this to 1 and this to 1. So you could have connected this way. So here also the minimum number of flips is 2. Now guys, if you take a look at the third example, you could see that there is one whole big island. So this is whole big island okay and this is second island this is a small one this is the second island now you want to connect both these islands so you can clearly see that if you flip one of these zeros any of one of these zeros then you can connect so for an example if you have flipped uh, let's say this zero to one then you would have connected right this zero to one you if you have flipped then you would have connected so the num minimum number of flips is one okay got it now here if I ask you if you find the minimum distance between island 1 and island 2 that is nothing but the smallest number of flips right that is nothing but the smallest number of flips. So if you uh, check in the above example so here in the example 1 what is the minimum distance between this and this see the minimum distance is nothing but 1 right you have to traverse from here to here and then to here so minimum distance is 1 what is the minimum distance from this node and this node it is nothing but 2. The distance between this node and this node is nothing but one so guys instead of uh, performing flips if you would have think of uh, is the minimum distance between the island one and island two is the same as the num number of flips smallest number of flips you have to make yeah yeah this is true so instead of uh, checking by flipping the zeros to one and checking if the island is connected what we could do is we could find the minimum distance between island one and island two Further, how we can find the minimum distance? So this is nothing but a, like a, like a graph of data structure where each uh, each cell represented a node, right? This is similar to graph. And in a graph, how we find the minimum distance from between two nodes? There is a simple traversal tactic that is nothing but BFS. So we, using BFS, we can find the minimum distance between two nodes. Okay. So guys, combining both these, finding the minimum distance as well as BFS, we would form our approach okay now what uh, we could do to solve this question firstly uh, what we can do is 
we can take all the cells of island one in our BFSQ. What we will do in the BFSQ add all the land land cells of island one. Okay. See guys, we need to find minimum distance to traverse from island one and island two. Now island one has let's say n one number of cells. So from all this n one number of cells, we can traverse to island two, right? So we have to check for all the possibilities because island one has n one cells, and from all this n one cells, we can traverse to island two. So guys, to track all the possibilities, we have we have to store all the cells of island one into our BFSQ. Now further, all from all the cells, we will traverse into all the direction. As the question says that we can traverse in all four direction. See all four direction. So from all cells, we have to check all the possibilities to traverse in up, down, left, and right. So we have to try to traverse in all four directions and to check our answer. So further, we would maintain a distance variable. That is the distance we have traveled, and afterwards, what we can do is the first occurrence of a land of an island two is our answer. So whenever we find the first occurrence of the island two, and at that time, whatever would be the uh, value stored in our distance array, that would be our answer, right? Whatever would be the value stored in the distance array when we found the first island two would be our answer. Simple as that. So um, now. This approach is uh, clear, guys. Right? We are simply doing a BFS traversal from all the land cells present in the island one, and we will do this traversal until we find some land of an island two. So, guys, how we uh, how we would uh, have to find? We would now have to find all the land cells of an island one to add in the cube. So, to perform this step one, we have to think. So, how we can do this? We can either do this by BFS or DFS, right? We can take any of one of the approach and find all the land cells of an island one and add to the cube. Simple as it. And afterwards, we simply have to do BFS. So, guys, let's move on to the coding part where we will understand this and also make a try run to help you guys visualize the code. So, guys, now let's try to understand the code. So, here for a try run, I have taken this uh, four cross four when n equals to four grid, and here there are two islands. This is the island one you can see, and this is the island two, and all uh, between intermediate cells are nothing but water cells that are zeros. Now, first, what we did is. We have to find the first x and the first y, or the first cell. This is nothing but a first cell of island one. We have to find the first uh, cell x uh, coordinates. That is x and y coordinates of island one, because from there we can start our traversal. Now, to mark this island one as a different cells, what we have done is, so we have just simply. Change uh, from one to two. So we have changed from one instead of one. We have marked them as two. Then after that, we have tried to traverse in all the four direction. Let's say this is our for current cells. So this is our current cell, right? We have marked it with two, and then we have also push that cell into the queue, and then we have tried to check in all four direction for that island. Okay. So after that, we will find this island. So we will make a DFS call and mark this island as also also as a two because this is a part of island one. So yeah, we are uh, to make it as a different, different from one and zero. We are marking as two. Now, guys, so at this point, after doing a DFS traversal on island one, our cube, our cube will contain two things, two cells, right? It is a cell zero uh, zero and cell zero one. It will contain two cells because there are two cells in a island one. Now, from these two cells, what we are doing, we are making a BFS call. Okay, so initially let's uh, make the distance as zero. Okay, and we are traversing all the cells present in the current queue. All the cells that are present in the current queue, so up till the size of the queue. So now, how we will do BFS? So firstly, what we did is we took the current x and current y. So let's assume that this is our current cell. This is our current cell, and from here, we are checking four direction. That is the down, right, up. And up and left. Now here, if you would see that uh, the down, the down cell is nothing but zero. Okay, that is not visited yet. So for that, what we will do, we would add this to our Q. We would add to our Q, add to our Q, and change it to minus one. Minus one is to mark it as visited. See guys, we are using different numbers. See two for the island, but minus one is for the uh water land that is visited zero that means the water land that is not visited and one that means the land of a island too 
So guys, in order to separate all these things, we are just simply using different variables to help us to understand. So yeah, we simply mark this as minus one. Now we are checking these detections. So from these two, up and left detection is not possible. So that is one another detection that is right, but that is already two. So we are only checking if we found one or zero. So one means, so currently one means what? One means land of island two. Okay. And this is this zero means water cell, water cell, because minus one means water cell that is visited, and this zero means water cell that is unvisited. So similarly, now this is in a part of our cube, but before that we already have one another cell, this cell in our cube. So from here we can traverse in three direction, in two direction, this and this. So we mark this as visited, and this as visited. Up and left are not possible from this cell. Okay. So guys, after making a BFS call from this, what we did, we simply increment our distance, right? And now the distance is one because we have three cells. This is minus one, this minus one, and this minus one. These three cells into our queue. And from the land for island one, we have traverse distance of one. Okay. We have already traverse distance of one and we have three cells in our BFS call. Now from these three cells, we will take one cell at a time and make uh, we have uh, may and travels in the four direction again. So suppose let's say we took this cell and try to traverse. So uh, we can traverse to bottom and mark this as minus one. We cannot traverse to right, left and above. Okay. So the BFS call for this is done. Now afterwards take this cell and try to traverse. So we can traverse to bottom and mark this as minus one. Traverse right, mark this as minus one. Okay. So afterwards we cannot traverse for this cell so mark uh, so and the bfs call uh, and yeah try to traverse in four direction for this cell now so we can only traverse in one direction so mark is a minus one other direction are already traversed now guys after this the bq has this cell this cell this and this these four cells are present into our queue now from here let's say suppose which we, we have this cell in the current queue and from that we traverse to the bottom cell so mark this as minus one. Now afterwards we cannot traverse. Uh, so yeah, we took the second second cell from the BFS. So whenever if you try to traverse from here, you will see that at the bottom cell is already one. That means this is the first time that this condition is satisfied. That one of the direction from where you can traverse from this cell is already one. That means we have found the land of the island too. And whenever this condition is satisfied, simply return the distance. Okay, what was the distance? See. You have traverse here at a distance one and here at a distance two. So at this point, distance were two. So simply return two as your answer because that is the land that you found of island two. And the first occurrence of that land is the minimum distance, right? Is at the minimum distance. So yeah, we simply return our distance that is two here. So yeah, guys, this way we will perform the BFS call and we will try to traverse from one cell to all the four directions that is possible and mark this either at either as minus one. Or if you find some cell is or one, that means that cell is nothing but a cell land of island two. Okay, so yeah, guys, that's where we can solve this question. Not talking about the time and space complexity. The uh, let me take here. So time complexity here is nothing but a DFS call plus BFS call. This DFS call will take big of n square time complexity, and BFS will also take big of n square time complexity in the worst case. Why n square? Because the grid uh, because the grid is of size n. And there are n square number of cells. So yeah, if we traverse all the cells in the worst case, then that is the maximum time complexity. And space complexity is also big of n square. Uh, this is for the Q. So let's say first we are using Q. In the worst case, we have to store big of n square uh, uh, cells into our Q. And second thing, uh, are we using anything else? No, we are not using anything else under uh, x and y simple variables. So yeah, guys, that's for the space complexity. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys have any doubts, then do let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.